Hey guys, it's War Hunter here. All right, and now here I am with another uh, DC Extended Universe review. And yeah, and now next up, now here go with the big one. And now, now here I am with the review for Justice League. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, so, of course, uh, this was uh, the big film from DC. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, this was the film that, like, uh, Batman vs. Superman, like, uh, like, was, like, the lead-up to. Yeah, and, yeah, and we finally, like, got the big film from DC, the film where, like, uh, the, the, all their characters do come together, and they make, uh, the big, uh, team. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, and... Yeah, like I said in my last review, like, after, like, how Wonder Woman, uh, was, like, a pretty great film, and it looked like DC did finally, like, uh, get it right, and they looked like they did finally know what they were doing, yeah, with, like, how great Death uh, Wonder Woman turned out, it, it seems a lot of people were, really did think that maybe, like, that could be a sign that DC really was, like, they did get on the right track, and this really was going to be, like, a pretty good film, yeah, so, yeah, so, people really did have a lot of expectations for the film, like, the trailers came out, and people really were, like, uh, really hyped up for it, yeah, despite the fact that, like, uh, like, uh, like, the previous films, up, like, the previous three films, like, did not turn out so well, like, with it being, like, Justice League, like, it was a very hyped movie, and a lot of people really were, like, uh, uh looking forward to seeing it, yeah, and then, yeah, and we did, uh, get the film, like, the film was released in November of 2017, yeah, yeah, and yeah, and with all the hype surrounding it, how did this film turn out? Well, it was not good. I mean, yeah, this, I did not like this film, like, I remember, like, when I saw this film in the theater, I was just, like, so disappointed with it, like, Really, like, uh, this film was just, like, such a big letdown. And, yeah, and, yeah, and a lot of people have said, like, how rushed the DC Cinema Universe really was in an attempt to uh, catch up with Marvel. And, yeah, and this film really is just, like, an ultimate example of that. Because, yeah, this film, like, this, they just, like, rushed this thing so much. Like, uh, like, uh, we didn't even really get to see, like, the introductions of, a. Uh, Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg until this film, like, despite the fact that, like, uh, they were talking about, like, at the end of Batman vs. Superman, how they were gonna find them, instead of actually focusing on that, they, like, uh, did, like, totally useless stuff that contributed nothing to it with Suicide Squad and the Wonder Woman movie, when, like I said in my, my last review when I reviewed Wonder Woman, like, that movie should have, like, been released after Batman, after, um, Man of Steel. That should have been the second film in the universe, yeah? And, yeah. And so, they just like, wasted, like, films, their films by, like, uh, having those films come out, and they didn't contribute anything to the formation of the Justice League. So, yeah, so they just, like, rushed this whole thing in this film, and, yeah, and the problems with this film are really apparent. Like, everybody pretty much does know the problems. Like, everybody has talked about it. Like, uh, it really is just, like, they just rushed this thing. Like, we didn't see... Uh, Flash, Aquaman, or Cyborg until this film. And yeah, and in this film, we don't even really get to form any connection with any of those guys. And even, like, uh, the characters that do, like, come back in the film, like, uh, Batman and Wonder Woman and such, like, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really see, like, much of a connection form with them either. I mean, I guess, like, we did get, like, to form a good connection with, uh, Wonder Woman and with her having her own film. You know, but yeah, but everybody else just yeah, we really haven't been able to really form that good of a connection with any of them, especially, like, the the three characters that are introduced in this film. So, yeah, so, how are we even really supposed to form a connection with these characters when, like, this is their introduction, and, like, their backstories are really just, like, very, like, glossed over and brief, and we really don't even get to form a connection with them? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, Marvel really did perfectly, like, uh, like, in the lead-up to the first Avengers film, like, uh, they introduced all the characters, and we really did, like, form a very great connection with them before we actually got the team up. But here, they did not do that. Like, yeah, they just, like, rushed this thing. They're just like, okay, yeah, 
uh, like, look how great Marvel's doing. Like, they've got the Avengers set up. We got to really, like, uh, like, get going with this. And we got to, like, like move it fast so we can catch up to them. And then they put this together. Like, oh, my gosh. Like, what were they thinking? Like, why did they do it like this? Just, oh, man. Like, uh, they just, like, they rushed this thing. And, yeah. And it really does, like, a uh, backfire on them. Because, yeah, I mean, it's just, like, impossible close to impossible to even form a connection with a lot of these characters because it's the first time we're seeing them. So, yeah, so that's really, like, a, one of the huge mistakes that they did with this movie. But it's just, like, rushing it so much and having this be the introduction of three of the members of the team. So, yeah. Yeah, so that is really, like, one of the main problems with the film. Yeah. And, and yeah. And plus, also, just the story for the film, it really is not very interesting. Like, yeah, I mean, it's like this film really was just like really trying to just rip off the plot of the Avengers films, but they don't do it nearly as good. So, yeah, so, yeah, the film story is like pretty weak and it really is not interesting at all. Yeah. And plus also just like, this kind of seemed like it was the point where like a DC was just like blatantly trying to rip off Marvel because... Like, I guess, like, it technically did start in Wonder Woman because, yeah, Wonder Woman was the movie where, like, DC introduced, like, the new, like, uh, uh, DC, like, uh, intro for the movie. Similar to, like, how Marvel has their intros, their intro, like, at the start of all their movies. Like, DC introduced, like, their own uh, uh, opening logo for their films and it shows like a bunch of the dc characters and then it just like ends up showing the dc logo so yeah so it's like dc who was just like blatantly trying to rip off marvel by doing that yeah and plus also like uh this was also like when dc was really starting to um introduce like the uh well start adding like uh mid credits and post credit scenes in their films just like marvel does like uh th i guess that technically did start in suicide squad with the scene where um bruce was uh talking to um the officer er, at the in the mid credit scene in the movie yeah so yeah so i guess that started here but yeah this is like where it really seemed to like uh be like uh dc just like blatantly ripping off marvel by, like, just adding in the elements of their films that Marvel has to their films. So, yeah, so that's really, like, kind of, like, another problem with the film. How, like, it, this is just, like, a, it seems like a DC really was just, like, blatantly trying to rip off Marvel at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, this film really just, like, has, like, a whole ton of flaws like that. Yeah. And plus, yeah. And... Like, my biggest gripe with the film, personally, and I'm sure, like, a lot of other people feel this way, too, is that they, like, totally wasted the return of Superman in this film. Like, like it's not, not a surprise. Like, it's, like, yeah, I'm sure, like, I'm not spoiling anything when I say Superman Returns. Like, I'm sure, like, all, everybody knows that Superman Returned in this film. Yeah. And they just totally uh, wasted the story arc with Superman's return. Like, they do not do it right at all, and they just pretty much just, like, a, a throw away, like, the whole story arc of Superman's return from the dead. Yeah, you know, they just, like, totally throw it away, and they just, like, say, okay, we're gonna bring him back, we're gonna just, like, do a little bit of, like, what is known about his return from the dead, and then, yeah, then we're just gonna, like, have it just be glossed over, and we're just gonna bring him back and not even go through any of that stuff. So, yeah, so that really is my uh, biggest problem with the film, because, I mean, them, like, doing Superman's death in the second film was already, like, like, the wrong move, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, and then for his return, they just pretty much just say, ah, eh, it doesn't matter, and they just bring him back, uh, like, it's nothing, so, yeah, so that really is, like, my biggest problem with this film. So, yeah, so, as you can see, like, uh, this film really just does have, like, a whole ton of problems, yeah? It's not, like, uh, the worst comic book film ever made, but, yeah, I would definitely say it is probably one of, if not the most disappointing comic book film of all time. Like, this film just had so much potential and so much hype surrounding it, and it just, like, turned out being a big letdown. And plus, yeah, the movie is also just, like, only two hours long. I mean, wouldn't you think that this could be like a three-hour film film with like a lot of like a uh, big things happening in it and then actually having time to do like this the a story arc of superman's return but yeah it's only two hours long and they spend most of the time really just like uh trying to form the group together and 
and the you know, looking for the villain and just like doing a whole bunch of stuff and there's not really a whole lot of them really like a teaming up to fight so yeah so the film really just doesn't do like what really the justice league really is like a uh, really famous for so yeah so they really just like a totally this film just felt like a totally wasted opportunity yeah now yeah so of course like the and that might have something to do with like the production of the film because of course like a uh, this film was once again like under the direction of Zack snyder but yeah, as I'm sure pretty much everyone knows, like, uh, while the film was in uh, production, um, Zack Snyder ended up uh, stepping down due to, um, I think it was like his daughter's death. So yeah, so Zack Snyder ended up uh, stepping down from the direction for the film, and then, and it was handed over to uh, Joss Whedon. Yeah, and yeah, and Joss Whedon, like when he took over, there was apparently like some reshoots. Uh, it's done, yeah, and yeah, and of course, like, uh, there have been, like, allegations of apparently, like, uh, uh, the cast and crew of the film not really, like, getting along with Joss Whedon, and Joss Whedon apparently, like, oh, causing some, uh, problems for, well, causing problems on set for the cast and crew, yeah, I'm not really sure if, like, that stuff's true, because I don't really know if, like, that's really the kind of person Joss Whedon is, because I haven't heard anything about, like, the anything like that going on like when he directed the two avengers films haven't heard anything like from the marvel actor saying anything about him so yeah so i don't really know if like those things that like were said about joss wheaton on the set of this film really were true yeah but yeah yeah so i really don't know like uh if like maybe like that was that may have been a part of this because of course like there was like like we now also do have, like, uh, the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, and yeah, and that film version really was just, like, so much better, so I don't really know if maybe, like, Joss Whedon caused the film to really, like, turn out the way it was, or if it was, like, uh, studio executives that were involved in, like, uh, why the film turned out, well, yeah, this version really did turn out the way it did, or what, but yeah, either way, like, the bottom line is just, yeah, the theatrical cut of Justice League was a massive letdown. Yeah, so just yeah, I just so I just really don't know what else to say. Like, if I go over like all the problems that I have with the film, like uh, this review would probably be like an hour long. So yeah, so I really don't think I really need to say too much else about like uh, why I don't like the film. But yeah, this just really just yeah, this film like it could have been like really big and yeah, and DC and Warner Brothers really just uh, uh, missed the opportunity with this film and they just like rushed it and. Yeah, and it really does backfire for them, and yeah, it just turned out being, like, a, not a very good film. So, yeah, so I just really don't know what else to say about it, so I guess I'll just give this film, like, a two stars out of four. Yeah, that is my rating for it, two stars out of four. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so that should probably, like, uh, tell you right there, like, how disappointed I really was with this film. Uh, yeah, all right so yeah so i just really don't know what else i can really say about it so yeah i'll just uh, start going over the premise of the film all right so yeah so as the film starts off like it shows how um uh bruce and diana are still like uh, trying to um find uh their uh other uh, um uh, meta humans and to form the Justice League, yeah. And the film is set, like, a two years after the events of Batman vs. Superman. So, yeah, so Superman has been uh, dead for two years at this point, yeah. And then, yeah, then it shows how, like, uh, Bruce Wayne then, like, uh, tried to um, recruit um, Arthur Curry first, who was, uh, who was, of course, uh, Aquaman. And, yeah, in, in this film, uh, well, yeah, in uh, these movies, of course, uh, Aquaman is played by uh, Jason Momoa. And, yeah, and while, yeah, while, like, a lot of the characters really are wasted, they really, like, uh, Jason Momoa really does play, like, a pretty cool uh, interpretation of Aquaman. So, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, they do, like, uh, make Aquaman pretty cool in these movies. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, and as uh, Bruce was uh, trying to um, persuade um, Arthur into joining up with him, he, like, uh, just, Arthur Curry, like, initially just ended up, like, uh, turning it down. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, then eventually, then like uh, it's shown how um, um, apparently like a Superman's death has triggered um the reactivation of these devices known as the Mother Boxes. 
box is, and it, it um, causes um, um, uh, uh, Steppenwolf, Steppenwolf to um, return to Earth, yeah? And apparently, like, it's explained in the film how, like, uh, Steppenwolf and his uh, legions of uh, parademons, like, attempted to take over the Earth like uh, thousands of years ago by using uh, combined energies of uh, <laughs> the mother boxes, yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, unified alliances, which included, like, Olympian gods, Amazons, and Atlanteans, and ended up, uh, foiling their plans. Yeah. And then, yeah, then, uh, after, like, uh, the Steppenwolf army was defeated, like, uh, the boxes were just, uh, separated and hidden in different locations. Yeah. Yeah. But then, yeah, then with, uh, Steppenwolf returning, like, uh, he's... His goal was to gather the boxes to uh, form the unity, which could destroy um, um, Earth's uh, uh, ecology and uh, terraform form it in the image of a uh, Steppenwolf's homeworld. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, then as he then like uh, was able to retrieve one of the uh, mother boxes from a uh, uh, Themyscira. Uh, yeah, Queen Hippolyta then, like, uh, warned Diana of Steppenwolf's return. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, eventually, then, um, um, Bruce Wayne then, um, um, then, uh, paid a visit to, um, Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash. And, yeah, this was, uh, Flash's, uh, official introduction into, um, the, uh, movies. Yeah. And, of course, like, he's played by Ezra Miller. Yeah. And, yeah, and, of course, like, uh, a lot of people have really just, like, complained about Ezra Miller, saying how, like, he's not very good, and, yeah, people really were, like, uh, upset that they did not bring in Grant Gustin from the uh, CW Flash show to uh, play Flash in these films and have his version of Flash be in the film. And, yeah, and I was pretty upset about it, too. I really wish they would have brought in Grant Gustin to play Flash in the film, at least then, like, we would have been able to really, like, have a connection with the character, instead of, like, having a whole different interpretation of him, um, for these films, yeah, yeah, but yeah, then, uh, yeah, and after, uh, Bruce, like, was explaining how he was forming a team to Barry, then Barry then, um, uh, then accepted, did, um, the offer, and joined up with, uh, Bruce and Diana, yeah, then, yeah, then, Diana then, and, like, I tried to recruit a Victor Stone, a.k.a. Cyborg, yeah, and, yeah, then, as a, a hand, then, like, was trying to, like, uh, persuade Victor into joining them, like, uh, he initially ended up uh, rejecting the offer, but he th later on agreed to help them locate the threat, yeah, so then, yeah, then, like, uh, we had, like, a uh, and initially, we had Bruce, Diana, and uh, Barry together to try to um, um, uh, find uh, Stephen Wolf and stop him. Yeah, and yeah, and in this film, like we also do, like have a uh, uh, Commissioner Gordon in the film, and in this film, a uh, Commissioner Gordon is played by uh, J.K. Simmons. Yeah, and J.K. Simmons, he like I guess it is kind of cool to see him as a uh, Commissioner Gordon, seeing as how like how great he was as a uh, Jameson in the Spider-Man movies. Yeah. So, yeah, it, I guess it was kind of cool to see him in a role for DC, yeah. But, yeah, we, he really doesn't have much of a role in this film. So, yeah, so I, he really doesn't really get any time to really, like, shine as a Commissioner Gordon like he did as Jameson. So, yeah, so that is kind of, like, a, a thing about the film that also kind of sucks. Yeah. But, yeah, then eventually um, Victor then uh, did a join up with... Uh, uh, Bruce, Diana, and and uh, Barry, yeah, and yeah, and something that really is like kind of interesting about the film is that like with a uh, Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg, like they're never referred to as those names in this film. So yeah, so it is kind of interesting how they don't actually have those names names in the film. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, then yeah, then as a Stone, then uh tried. Yeah, as a uh, Victor uh, was trying to like help uh, Bruce, Diana, and Barry take out um, Steppenwolf, so, um, Victor then like saw uh, Steppenwolf uh, kill his father and other Star Lab employees. Yeah, 
these that are uh, seeking the mother box that are protected by humanity. Yeah. So, yeah. So, after Victor saw his father killed, then that's when uh, uh, Victor joined up with uh, Bruce, Diana, and Barry. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, as a Steppenwolf then, like, ended up attacking an Atlantean outpost to go after the next mother box, uh, then that, like, uh, sprang... Arthur into action, and he helped uh, to stop them from retrieving the box, yeah, and then, yeah, then Victor then was able to um, retrieve the last mother box for the group, Oop, yeah, then, yeah, then, like, uh, Victor then, like, uh, like, uh, explained how, um, his father actually used the mother box to rebuild his body after he almost died in an accident, so, yeah, so then that is why, um, he does have the, uh, cybernetic body, as cyborg, yeah. So then, yeah. After like uh, learning about that, Bruce then decided to use uh the uh, mother box to uh bring Superman back to help them like fight off Seven Wolf's invasion and to restore hope to humanity. Because yeah, ever since like uh he died, like uh um humanity w was really like mourning and suffering the loss. Yeah. So then, yeah. Eventually, then um um uh. Barry and uh, Victor then uh, dug up um, Clark's casket and then uh, brought it back to um, the Kryptonian scout ship. And then they placed uh, Clark's body in like a, a fluid in the Genesis chamber. And then, yeah, then they, they like uh, brought the mother box in. And then with some energy from uh, Barry's run... Then eventually they were able to um, resurrect Clark, and you just saw his uh, eyes open. Yeah, and like I said, they just like totally waste the uh, story arc of the return of Superman. Like he does not go through like the, what is known about like his return from the dead, like wearing the uh, black solar suit and everything, and his hair growing out and stuff. Like, and then yeah, then like they like end up like uh, cloning him as just like the normal Superman to try to snap him out of it and he is like suffering from amnesia and stuff and they are trying to get his memories back and everything yeah the stuff that is really known about the story arc of his return yeah they don't do any of that in this film like he like when he's first revived like he doesn't have like his memories but that's really like all they do they don't do like this whole solar suit arc or any of that yeah, and that was something that I really was, like, very upset about when uh, I saw this film in the theater, because there were pictures online of uh, Henry Cavill dressed in the uh, black solar Superman suit. So, yeah, so there was, like, people were really expecting that to be in this film, and they did not do it. So, yeah, so that is, like, something that I really was, like, very upset about when I saw this film, yeah? But anyway, yeah, getting back to it, yeah? Yeah, when uh, Clark was revived, like I said, like, uh, he did not have, like, uh, his memories, and so then he started to attack uh, um, the group. He went after uh, Diana, Barry, Victor, and Arthur, yeah, then, yeah, then as a Batman then was trying to um, help regain his memories, then uh, Batman then brought in uh, Lois Lane, and then when Clark saw Lois, then he, like, uh, calmed down, so yeah, so it was pretty much like, a, sim a similar thing with, like, Hulk and Betty Ross or Black Widow. How, like, when he sees her, he comes down. Yeah, it was the same thing here. So, yeah. So, another rip off off to Marvel. Yeah. But, yeah, when uh, he settled down when he saw Lois, then uh, uh, they went back to Clark's uh, family home. And then, eventually, then uh, Clark then did uh, regain his memories. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, then... uh. Uh, the rest of the, uh, 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 team, team then, like, uh, uh, then decided that they had to try to stop Steppenwolf themselves, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, then eventually Steppenwolf then was able to retrieve the last mother box, yeah. Then, as the team was then, like, uh, traveling to a village in Russia to try to stop Steppenwolf, Wolf from, uh, uniting the mother boxes as they're fighting like through the parademons and eventually reach steppenwolf like they can't actually defeat him yeah and to be honest like the fight with steppenwolf really is not that spectacular like it's really not that interesting at all like it it's just like them like trying to fight steppenwolf and he is just like constantly overpowering them yeah 
Yeah. Then eventually, then a Superman then arrived, and then will and will help to to um uh take out a Steppenwolf, and yeah, then with a uh, very uh like trying to help evacuate the city from Steppenwolf, yeah, Superman then helped uh Barry evacuate the city, yeah. Then yeah, then assisted Cyborg in separating the mother boxes, yeah. Then yeah, then they ended up uh, defeating uh. Seven Wolf, and then, and yeah, then Seven Wolf, then, and like, uh, ended up being attacked by his own parademons. Yeah, and that ended up like, uh, taking him out for good. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. Then afterwards, like, uh, Bruce and Diana then, like, uh, ended up, like, uh, setting up, uh, up, uh, like, uh, their own, like, uh, 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 uh Justice League headquarters hers for the team, yeah, and they even, like, uh, made room for more members. Yeah, then, yeah, then, as the who, like, were establishing their team, like, uh, it was just showing how, like, uh, they all, like, went to, like, uh, live their normal lives as well with, like, uh, Barry, like, acquiring a job at the Central City Police Department. Victor, like, a uh, enhancing his abilities with his father at the Star Labs. Arthur, like, uh, protecting people in the seas, being Aquaman. Yeah. Diana, like, uh, being in the public spotlight as her, as a hero. Yeah. And, yeah, then Clark also, um, resuming his, uh, uh, life, life at the Daily Planet. Yeah. And, yeah. And then it just, like, ended with, like, some narration from, uh, I think it was a Diana, you know, and it just showed how uh, Clark, like, ended up, like, uh, opening up a shirt, revealing the Superman uh, outfit, and then just flying off into action, and then, yeah, then the movie then just abruptly stopped like that, and it ended, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, very random way to end the film like that, yeah, then, yeah, then we got, like, this mid credit scene, like, where, like, a. Uh, 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 Barry and Superman, like, ended up having a race with, uh, Superman's flying against a Flash's, uh, super speed. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, in the, po we then had a post credit scene. It showed how, uh, um, Lex Luthor had, like, escaped from, uh, Arkham Asylum after, because, of course, like, at the end of Batman vs. Superman, like, uh, Batman, like, was telling Lex how he, he was gonna have him transferred over to Arkham Asylum, yeah. But yeah, here it showed uh, Lex Luthor escape from Arkham Asylum, and it still was uh, Jesse Eisenberg reprising the role from Batman vs. Superman, yeah. Showing, like, he was recruiting uh, Slade Wilson, a.k.a. Uh, uh, Deathstroke, and he was then, like, uh, just telling him how they were forming a league of their own. So yeah, so this is something that is probably gonna care will uh, carry over to another future DC movie. So, yeah, so we'll see how, like, that turns out. But, yeah, any, but, yeah. Still, like, uh, with this film, yeah, not a very good film. Just like I said, it was rushed. It, like, we can't develop any sort of a uh, connection or very good connections with uh, a lot of the characters in the film. Superman's return is not done the way it should have been at all. The action scenes really are not that, that spectacular. So, yeah, so this film really just does have, like, a whole ton of problems. So, yeah, so, like I said, it's not the absolute worst comic book film ever made, but, yeah, it is safe to say it is, like, one of the most disappointing of all time, if not the most disappointing one. Like, there was just so much potential for this, and it was so hyped up, and they really just gave us a really big disappointment. So, yeah, did not like this film. So, like I said, I give this film two stars out of four, yeah, so yeah, so, despite, like, how great the Justice League really is, this film really is not recommended, to be honest, like, because it's not done right whatsoever, like, yeah, if you really are, like, yeah, for a team-up that really is done right, where you can actually form connections with the characters, yeah, I mean, you, you got the Marvel films for that, the, the Marvel films are the ones that actually do it right, DC does, did not do it right at all with this film, so, yeah, so, yeah, it's a pretty sad that this was, like, had so much potential, and it was just a completely wasted opportunity. Yeah, and like I said, I am not really don't know who's to blame for, like, how the film really did turn out, but, yeah, regardless of who's responsible, yeah, film, 
Ugh, not very good. All right. Yeah, and of course, and yeah, and like I said earlier, of course, like uh, there is like a the Zack Snyder cut for this film that's like on a uh, Max now. Yeah, it was released on HBO Max a couple of years ago. Yeah, but yeah, and I will also and I will also uh talk about that film. But yeah, I'm gonna wait until I actually do like a uh, get through like all the DC uh, films so far before I actually do talk about the Zack Snyder cut for this film. So, yeah. So, after I talk about the Flash film, when I go see it next weekend, yeah, after that, then I will talk about uh, the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. So, yeah. So, I'll be doing that, like, after I'm done with these reviews. All right. But, yeah. This version, still, yeah, not a very good film. So, yeah. Sad to see that this had so much potential, and they just wasted the opportunity. All right, yeah, all right, so yeah, so I guess this is all I can really say about it. All right, so yeah, so this is my review of Justice League, so I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this review, yeah, and yeah, and with, like, how disappointing this film was, like, this almost did completely turn me away from DC, but yeah, luckily, DC did actually, like, uh, start to actually um, improve themselves for real following this film, so yeah, so yeah, the, fo the following films, like, is actually when these this universe actually did start getting better, but yeah, we'll talk about those as, like, I continue on with these reviews, all right, but yeah, but I hope you guys did enjoy this review, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.